We all know the power of creating a personal brand and having an online presence is so important to attract your coaching client. But doing this as an introverted woman coach can be quite overwhelming. I mean, most of the time, none of us likes to be on the camera in front of a complete stranger that we have no idea of who's watching. That feeling of, I don't know who's behind the camera. It just sounds so intimidating. And most of us, can we all agree, our introverted women coaches, we just don't like that thing about being on the camera and promoting and speaking of ourselves. So in this video, I'm going to show you the three things that you're going to need to build your unique personal an authentic brand without feeling like a fake. Hi there, I'm Michelle, and I love helping introverted women coaches to use the power of storytelling so that they can turn a passion for coaching into a profitable business. In today's world, having a strong personal brand is such a key important element for anyone who's looking to stand out, stand apart, and making their coaching business successful. But for us introverted women coaches, it feels like really intimidating trying to do the things that the way that feels, it just doesn't feel very genuine. It feels almost like a phony and fluffy and fake. <laughs> so that is why I'm going to walk you through the three most important things that you need to know in order for you to create that strong personal brand. And these are the things that I teach my clients on how to create an impactful personal brand without feeling like you have to sell yourself out in order to attract and get your clients. Let's get started. All right. In order to create a personal strong brand, the first thing that you're going to need is you're going to need to identify your core values. And this is an exercise I remember when I was in getting a coach certification, I had to go through in order to identify what are some of the important values I have. And I remember having to uh, sit in front of a list of all these core values and identify my top five and top three. And that exercise, we use it all the time with our client. But when it comes to building our own coaching business, we'll forget that the core value is really your step number one in creating a personal brand, a strong personal brand that would actually make you stand out and stand apart. Your core values are the principles that you're going to guide you through your whole entire coaching business, the way that you show up. There's a phrase I really love. It's called how you do one thing is how you do everything. So being able to identify your core value as a coach, I would highly suggest that you go back to that exercise if you have never done it, which I highly doubt you have never done it. Highly recommend that you go back to the core value exercise and identify what are the core values that you're going to bring into your coaching business because essentially that's how your clients, your potential client is going to remember you based on what you present, what you bring out to the world, how you show up every single day. And your core value can be trust, integrity. I know uh, just a couple of days ago, I offer a master class and a lot of my participants, they tell me that it's the trust that they hold very dear. So my question to you is, if you're building a strong personal brand, a coaching business brand, then having a trust, how does trust show up for you in your coaching business? It's something to definitely work, sit down, journaling, or write it out so that you have a clear picture of what your core values represent. Point number two is you want to use your strength as your advantage in order to create that coaching business where it allows you to stand out and stand apart as you're building your online presence. As an introverted woman coach, you may feel very uncomfortable in promoting yourself or marketing yourself the same way that an extroverted coach would typically do. So for example, you know, the extroverted coach have no problem jumping on a live on spontaneous movement, and they're able to articulate so well, they carry themselves so well on camera, they're not afraid of being seen on the camera. And that may not be the approach that you resonate with and that you want to adapt. So give yourself some grace and you don't have to follow everybody's strategy in order to get your message out into the world. So 
As introverted woman coach, you may excel in creating deeper relationship with your coaching client, with your potential client, and that may be very powerful if you think about marketing strategy. How can you come up with ideas where you can create more intimate groups setting, or perhaps it's a conversation, coffee date, things that you would allow other people to come into a safe space, but with a smaller group of people that you can have deeper conversation. So be creative and think about what are some of the ways that you can invite people to come in and join you to have a conversation. And this include creating blog posts or helping someone to um, guest blogging for, for some people. And perhaps it's publishing a newsletter or writing email. Those, there are so many different ways that you can present yourself and putting yourself onto the virtual stage without feeling like you have to be all out there making some noise, being on the camera and talking and promoting about yourself. Point number three is how to create a personal, strong personal brand by having authenticity. I think you and I both agree that if you're watching this video, you do not resonate with anything that's fluffy, that's fake, that's phony. You value authenticity very strongly. So don't try to be someone else that you are not. If you see someone who is all very glamorous on the camera or they have all the high-tech tools that allows them to be out there and outgoing, do not compare yourself in their shoes. Instead, thinking about what, how you usually like to represent that authenticity. And authenticity is the key in building a personal brand when it comes to things that resonate with your audience. Authenticity also requires a little bit of vulnerability, showing up and just telling people that you are a human too. And there is nothing wrong with being honest about your strength, about your weakness, and sharing your struggles and personal stories with your potential client that they can resonate. One of the pro tip that I'm going to add in here is that sometimes when we think about sharing our personal story, oh my gosh, you know, this is a very common conversation that I have with my clients is that, Michelle, I don't have any personal to share. I don't have any uh, 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 big, gigantic, uh, phenomenal, transformational key moment that I wanted to tell my audience. And, you know, while that is that may be true that, you know, for you, your life may be smooth sailing, but you didn't wake up one day and just wanted to become a coach, did you? We all went through a slow process of journey and something had happened that led to the next step, which led to the next step. So having that understanding of what be, what made you become the person who you are today is so valuable and your audience would appreciate hearing from you about that journey of how you become who you are today. And that is something valuable that people would want to have. They want exactly what you have. So by being vulnerable, even just share one to two line of sentences, you might find it very, very uh, powerful for someone else who may be sitting and feeling exactly what you're feeling right now, they may find it really helpful to understand, okay, so if she can do it, maybe I can do it. I always teach my client, use that level of empathy so that your audience would hear you, they can relate to their own story, their own struggles by listening to your vulnerability, to by listening to your struggle and by listening to your story. So don't undervalue and don't underestimate all your life journey of how you got here today as a coach. So be authentic, be real, sharing what your struggle was and tell them what you have learned throughout this journey. Now, I know a lot of my clients, they're struggling with how do I put this core value together and, and share it in a way that it would resonate with my coaching client? How can I put it together and mash it up and jazz it up so that it actually becomes something that people want to read? And for that, I actually put together a core message, a guidebook, so that it contains five steps in showing you 
step by step how to get out there and and create that magnet messaging to attract your paying clients. And all you have to do is go ahead and grab it in my in my、uh, episode note under core message dot attract client through storytelling dot com if that would help you to identify not just your core values but also show you the steps in how you can use that message to get out there and share that and be authentic and be real.、Um, I put together five steps and there's actually a pro tip inside that. You might find it helpful. All right. So that sum up. In order to create a personal, a strong personal brand that allows you to get out there and actually position yourself as the expert in no matter which niche that you choose, there are three very key important things that you're going to need. Number one is you want to identify your core value. Everything that you do in your coaching business should. And and should always be value based. So if you're struggling to identify your niche, I would suggest you go back one step further to identify what is it and why are you having this coaching business. And that typically has to do with your core value. Maybe someone that violated that core value, and you step into your true power, and you wanted to have that core value being. Becoming who you are. So I would suggest that if you're struggling with finding your niche and you don't know how to get out there to connect with your audience, step back, take a step back, and go back and look at your core value. Step number two is to use your strength as an introverted woman coach. There's so many things that we introverted women are so good at doing: the deeper conversation. We listen. We con. We connect with others on a deeper level. We're not into that small talk. So everything, every time we show up, we show up being authentic, and we want to help people. And so use that as your strength. Think about a creative way of how you can invite more people into your world, so that you can have conversation with them. Whether it's an audio, whether it's a blog post, it could be a small writing newsletter, email. There's so many different ways that can create that you can create to have that deep, meaning conversation.、And、key number three is be authentic. Don't try to be someone else. Don't try to copy someone else's style or being someone else's uh, uh, trying to use their strategies because none of us uses the same strategy, using the same way of approaching and connecting with people. While you can use them as inspiration, you can never replicate someone else's success. So be authentic. Authenticity is really the key in building that strong personal brand, where it will resonate with your audience and your. Your audience is really waiting out there to to see you, so they want to hear from you. Tell them your story, and if you need more help, be sure to check out my podcast at Make It Visible Podcast, where I also bring story starters to help all the women coaches to get started with writing your story. So, until then, have a good time, and I will see you on the next episode.